So did you play with it? My kids played with these. Sure, uh, yeah, no, I played with those. Them. You had one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you yeah. have like a favorite one that was a... Uh... Well, I think you're holding my favorite there. That's a... Uh, this Corvette. I had a bigger one, a little triple changer. Yeah? Turned into a boat and an aircraft. Dude. Big time. Wow. No joke. More than meets the eye. You said it. Shia LaBeouf when we come back. Buff star of this summer's huge blockbuster Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. You're watching The Early Show. Hello on CBS. Him the Billion Dollar Man times two. In just six short years, Shia LaBeouf's movies have made over $2 billion worldwide. And that's not counting his new blockbuster, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Hello, Michaela. I can't believe you're gonna stand me up on our first web chat date. I just had a full-blown mental meltdown. I am seeing symbols ever since I... Since what? Ever since I touched the cube splitter. Do you have it? <laughs> Yeah, I have it. It's in the shop safe. It's fine. M Michaela, do not touch it, okay? Don't touch it. There you go. People are psyched up to see Shia LaBeouf. Good to see good you, man. To see you, sir. Yes. You doing all right? Yeah, good, good. We went to see it Wednesday right. in a theater with actual human beings in IMAX, and I found it so amazing as people cheer for the machines. Sure. They cheer sure. during the movie. People sure. break out and emotionally respond yeah. to this thing that is clearly fantasy. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. It's have you ever seen it with real people? I have seen it with real people. We saw it in London with real people and, and Korea with real people, Japan, yeah. Russia. Yeah. And it's the same type of reaction there. It's not uh, a language thing, obviously. It's just like a visceral reaction to 4th of July. Yeah. What is it like to be in a movie like this because you have interaction with real human beings, but then you have interaction with things you can't see? Yeah, it's like, it's pantomime, it's comedie dell'arte, it's like uh, singing in the shower or uh, being a professional schizophrenic or something like that, you know? <laughs> and people say, hey, that looks pretty good, and you just keep talking to yourself. Keep talking. But so much of this is intense, and there's a lot of this movie. It looks to me like uh, you make, you're, you're in it, you're in it. This yeah. is not, this is, you can't be casual about something like this. No, there's nothing casual about this movie. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Gotta be an athlete a bit, I think, um, mm -hmm. and have pain tolerance. Yeah. Uh, and it's a monotonous, aggressive set. It, it is, you know, that's uh, that was the goal of the film. Sure. And so, you know, Mike likes to punch his audience in the face, and the actors get a brunt of that. Uh, <laughs> get part of that. Sure, part of, part sure, of that sure. abuse. You would do another one of these? Uh, after I heal up, sure, I think so. Wow, unbelievable. You have not necessarily kept yourself free from controversy over the last couple of years, right? Including being in a car accident, you hurt your hand. You still looks like it is in rehab. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Newly not broken. The thing that's interesting to me is you got a phone call from Harrison Ford, and what did Harrison Ford say? Get back to work, buck up, man yeah. up, you know, that type of stuff. Guys like Harrison Ford in your life, have they been like brothers to you or been like, you know, the Dutch uncle or whatever? I would say all those things, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a pillar in my life. Uh, how could he not be? You know, his his ten ten or so words in the day. He's very you know he doesn't he doesn't speak a lot. He's like a John Wayne figure. You know, you got to earn the handshake and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And and you know, being around a guy like that, that stuff rubs off. It's yeah. it's just a good. Uh, it's good to be around men like that. Uh, if people want to know you, I suggest they look at the Playboy interview, which is uh, very revealing. Pretty revealing. Pretty revealing. Here's a question. How are women treating you these days, by the way? You say, great, amazing, unbelievable. It's cool to be 22 and famous. You go to a party, and it's a bit of an what? Well, I mean, you know, th these quotes get... You... <laughs> I feel like such a... Like a... I don't want to say it on TV, but I feel like that guy. I feel like, uh, oh. yeah, I mean, you know, you see, and there is, there is part of it that is very uh, awesome and amazing and, 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 but it's fake and it's, you know, it's fickle right. and, I mean, it is all those things. It is enjoyable. I mean, to an extent. Right, right. I guess if you know how capricious life can be. That's then. a word for the day. Well, fickle. Hey. You, you said fickle, I would say capricious. Okay. And the last but not least is every kid would dream to be an action figure, right? Sure. Here are the action figures from uh, the movie, all the Transformers. How about that little and guy? And yours ends up like this. Yeah, well, like a Josh Groban. <laughs> it's like Screech. It's like my Screech action hero. <laughs> Thanks, Hasbro. Just perfect. There you go. Yeah. And it fits right in your pocket. How about that? All right. Congratulations. Good to see you. Thank you so yeah. much. Here's Matt.